You are welcome to my channel. It is all about topical nystatin for today. But there is a self-representation on oral nystatin. If you want to listen to that, kindly click on this very link. Without further ado, let's go. Topical nystatin could come under different brand names, including generic or any of these, and even beyond this list, depending on your jurisdiction or country. Let's check some facts about nystatin. Either the topical nystatin that is inadvertently ingested, or the oral nystatin, there will be less systemic absorption. So we expect less systemic effect. And that is why it is expected to be excreted unchanged via faces. If you want to know more about this, kindly click on this link. Topical nystatin is applicable in pediatric age group as well as in adults. If we encounter renal or hepatic failure, there will be less alteration in the dosage of the topical nystatin. If we want more info on nystatin generally, particularly oral nystatin, can lead Make use of this link. After three to four days, you might start noticing the effect of this medication. Okay, let's examine another fact that is about the mechanism of action of nystatin. It is meant to disrupt the cell wall of the fungus. And this will be done by binding to the steroids in the fungal cell membrane. When that happens, there will be increase in the permeability of the cell wall. And that will lead to leakage of the contents of the cell and subsequent death. The adverse effects will include hypersensitivity. In this case, there may be swelling rashes, even toxic epidermal necrolysis or Stephen Johnson syndrome, and all these could be deadly. Also, there might be gastrointestinal tract affectation where the individual can have nausea, vomiting, or even diarrhea. Still on adverse effects, the cardiovascular system could be affected in such a way that the heart rate will rise. Tachycardia. Musculoskeletal system could give us muscle pain, known as myalgia. Contraindication. The only contraindication is hypersensitivity to nystatin or any component of its formulation. One, there might be a hypersensitivity reaction. I've gone through that just a while ago, but let's have a recap here. An individual could become hypersensitive to nystatin, who will stop the medication immediately because there will be swelling, or urticaria, you know, breathing difficulty, bronchial spasm, toxic epidermal necrolysis, Stephen Johnson syndrome, all could appear. We we'll grab our epipen, hydrocortisone, venadry, you no know, bronchodilators. Then go to our IV fluid and evolve appropriate units. Toxicity may be devastating, particularly in younger age group, either premature individuals or the young. If the formulation contains propylene glycol. There may be respiratory or even renal failure. The neonate could develop seizures and 
metabolic lactic acidosis could all occur. So, could lead to death. Please use nystatine as being prescribed. Particularly in the case of topical nystatine, don't use it per aura and you don't use it in certain parts of the body. I'll go into that while addressing topical nystatine. There's likelihood of irritation of the skin. If that occurs, you got to stop. Uses of topical nystatine. Please, this is not for the eyes. It is not an ophthalmic agent, no. Agent for vagina area will be presented separately. So this is not for that purpose. Then, if it is not for the eyes, if it's not for this region, where? Okay, it is meant for cutaneous candida infections or mucocutaneous candida infections in pediatric age group for diaper rheumatitis. For moist candida infection of the skin, it is advisable that we make use of the powder form. For intertrigenous area like folds of the axilla or genital regions or between the digits, you can make use of the cream or the ointment. For other exposed areas of the body, you can use you know, either you want the cream or the ointment or the powder. Topical nystatin will likely come in 100,000 units per gram. In either 15 gram or 30 gram, some will be 60 gram in form of cream, ointment or powder. Administration of topical nystatin. First thing first, we have to wash our hands before applying this medication before touching it. Then we wash our hands after we are done. Before placing this medication on the affected area, the affected area must be thoroughly clean and dry. If we are using the cream or ointment, please let's massage thoroughly. We cannot apply this medication just anywhere. No, it's not for the eyes, it's not for the Vagina area. The cream and ointment could be applied twice daily or four times daily. The powder may be three times daily, but this doesn't really matter much. If you want to be at silver side, you can apply it four times daily, but it all depends on the severity. If we are dealing with lower extremities where the feet are affected, then we have to treat the shoes and the stockings. So we can put the powder in the shoes and stockings. The duration of treatment is not so defined. It is indefinite in the sense that we'll continue applying topical nystatin until we have the desired healing achieved. In pregnancy and breastfeeding mothers, if it's a very severe condition and you need to use it, you may discuss with the pharmacist or the OBGYN specialist. But if it's so severe and you need to apply this medication and you cannot reach either of these, well, I will, in my own case, use less quantity and reduce the frequency while making you no know, all frantic efforts to get either of these. For drug drug interaction, contact the pharmacist or clinical pharmacologist, please. In conclusion, please say no to self medication. The fact that you have this presentation is not the license for you to indulge in self-medication. So, contact your 
physician. Stay healthy, please. Thanks for listening to this short presentation. Kindly share with your friends. I appreciate it.